Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls V's Skyrim's Special Edition. My name is Camel, and today we have a guide for a unique two-handed sword that goes by the name of Stormthang. It's actually a very decent weapon, especially if you can get it early on. But to do that, I'll first have to show you how. Super simple. All we need to do is make our way to the island of Solstheim at any level. Of course, this is part of the Dragonborn DLC, and if you are following this guide on the standard Skyrim, you will need that DLC installed to get this weapon. Anyway, once we get to the island of Solstein, we'll want to make our way to Brodir Grove. On the map, it can be found right about in the middle of the island. Here there are three Reavers, with a fairly decent camp set up, if I do say so myself. Which contextually makes no sense, because I had nothing to do with making this camp. But anyway, one of them is carrying the very sword we are looking for. So take the three Reavers out in style. And the one that's much harder than the others will be the Reaver Lord. And once he has been defeated on his corpse, we can find Stormfang. Grab that boy lad. Now we have it, let's take a look at it. Stormfang. It's got a base damage of 17, a swing speed of 0.7, which leaves us with a base DPS of 11.9. It's got a reach of 1.3, a weight of 17, a value of 1,175. It can be upgraded with a steel ingot, which requires you to have the arcane smithing perk. However, it benefits from the steel smithing perk, which means it can be upgraded all the way to legendary without the assistance of fortification spells and abilities. And the enchantment targets take 30 points of shock damage and half as much to magicka, so 15 points of magicka damage. Now that enchantment is really damned powerful, 30 points of shock damage. It's definitely up there with some of the more powerful enchantments you can find on unique weapons. It's not the best in the game, but again, it's definitely top shelf stuff. Sadly, that brutal enchantment has been slapped onto a steel greatsword, which is the second worst base greatsword in the game. So if you manage to get your hands on Stormfang early on, the enchantment will definitely make up for its average base damage, and might even carry the weapon over into mid-game use. But late game, with the world at your fingertips, you will definitely be able to find a better weapon. Now, some of you might find the name Stormfang a tad familiar. That is because Stormfang was actually in the Elder Scrolls III's Morrowind expansion Blood Moon. It was carried by Ulfgar the Unending, the 500-year-old Nord who was searching for Sovereign and just couldn't find the damn place. Of course, the Nevenarine, the player, helps him find it by killing him in battle, which of course leads to him being dead, therefore leading to the acquisition of Stormfang. But how it ended up in the hands of the Reaver Lord over 200 years later, we'll just never know. And the Reaver Lord that we killed to get Stormfang in Skyrim is at Brodir Grove, the very same place that Ulfgar the Unending is found. So perhaps in canon lore, the Nerevarine didn't take the blade and simply left it at the grove. Therefore, sometime later, the Reaver Lord rocked up, found the sword of Brodir Grove, and now it's on his back. We kill him, now we have it. Oh, and just a little side note, Ulfgar the Unending from the Blood Moon expansion actually appears in Sovereign Guard in Skyrim. So how about that? Catch me upside. I suppose. So Stormfang, it's been around for a while and is now part of the history of Solstheim, especially Brodig Grove. It's an excellent sword if you can get it early on with that big, brutal, electrifying enchantment and it quite literally has the charged bite of a storm, making that name all the more appropriate, Stormfang. <laughs> And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Camel, and this has been my guide for the unique greatsword known as Stormfang. 
I do hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you will be very interested in checking out the other Skyrim Special Edition guides I've already done. Links to them can be found down in the description. Now down there, in the old description, you can also find links to my social medias including Twitter and Patreon. Be sure to hit them up if you are keen in supporting the channel and keeping up to date with what I'm up to. As I'm sure you know, all of my time and energy goes into making these videos for you, so your support is most appreciated and welcomed in any and all forms. So thank you very much for watching, thank you for supporting the channel, and I will see you very shortly in the next video. I'll see you there soon.